hello everyone here and welcome to my channel graphic for you today i'm going to show you how to create an energy wave like this using stardust plugin it's very easy and let's get started okay now create a new composition then hit ok go to layer new solid and i'll call it stardust then press ok Go to effects and presets and type stardust star dust double click or drag and drop i'll move it back like this and okay now i'll go to emitter and set point to box and change speed change speed to zero also size y zero and size z zero and i'll increase size x around uh, maybe 90 900 and okay i'll go to particle particle properties and I'll change 10 to 2 okay now I'll go to force and I'll parent force with particle like this okay and I'll change win y to minus 200 okay Again, I'll go to emitter and I'll change particles per seconds to 10,000. And now, see, particles moved up. Okay, we need some size X like this. Okay, now I'll add turbulence and I'll parent turbulence with force, okay, and I'll go to position offset and I'll change it to 300 and also I'll go to turbulence over life and I'll bring this down and I'll press on linear to change linear to busier and okay first go to noise scale and change it to 20 200 and also emitter change particle per second to 20 okay 20,000 again turbulence and i'll add this point and this point and yes okay now i'll go to fractal offset y and alt and click and i'll go here and type time times nine time times eight okay and see this is our particle okay now i'll go to fill and i'll change sphere to bend okay and also axis i'll change axis z to axis y and i'll go to bend amount and increase it like this and also origin x y i'll decrease y like this and now you can make balance between bend amount and origin Yes. 
Ensign. I think we need more emitter here. Change it. Yeah. Okay, now I'll go to particle again and opacity, I'll change opacity to 50 and opacity over life, size and I'll bring this down like this and I'll go to vizier and This is our energy wave. Okay, now I'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'll go to effect and blur. Okay, and I'll choose. Gaussian blur and I'll change three. Okay, and I'll go to effects and presets and I'll type solid composite. And I'll change this color to black. Also, I'll go to effects and presets and median. And radius, change it to 3. Okay. And also, I'll go to effect and blur and CC vector blur. And I'll increase the amount, maybe to this. And I'll go to adjustment layer number one to change normal to a maybe screen. Yes, change normal to screen to this. And I'll go to adjustment layer number one to change normal to a maybe screen yes change normal to screen change normal to screen change normal to screen okay now I'll add adjustment layer a new adjustment layer and I'll go to effect color and curves okay and I'll go to blue to change the color also green this and red okay and I'll go to effect stylize and glow okay 
now I'll go to glow threshold and I'll change it to 73 also radius 73 and I'll change original colors original colors original colors to A and B and also here A and B and I'll change this color to to like this and control D to copy control D to copy glow and I'll change threshold to 25 and radius to 250 yes okay now I'll go to layer new solid and background I'll put it down and I'll go to effect and gradient okay and generate or go to generate and gradient trend okay now I'll change linear ramp to radial ramp and I'll put this point into the middle and I'll choose blue colors okay now I'll go to stardust and uh, adjust from layer 1 and 2 and I'll pre-compose all of this and set normal to screen yes and this is our tutorial today so if you like it don't forget like share and subscribe and goodbye